Okay, Shalom. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rakakwadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's whole four elects scattered abroad. All right, I'm the brother Taz of War, back at you again with another lesson. And this one here is another quick hit, uh, straight to the point. Uh, Lord willing, you know, I pray, Yahweh Bahashem Shai, he allow these lessons to be edifying to those of the whole four elect. All right, so um, this topic is based off encourage. All right, encourage. You know, I have a few scriptures here I queued up, which I titled encouraging scriptures. You know, scriptures that should, you know, uplift you or remind you that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is with you. All right, and we do these shows for the elect. You know, so the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah is with those that's of the hopeful elect, okay? That will be the elect. All right. Scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. And we're hoping to be part of the chosen. OK, you know, when we first come into this truth, you know, it's sweet. Everything feels good. It's very inspiring, enlightening, you know, to your mind, to your knowledge. But then it gets bitter. You know, it gets bitter when everything gets rough, when you have to, you know, maintain your faith and your integrity and your sincerity in this truth when everything is stacked against you when everything is not going so well so it's sweet but it gets bitter but during why it's bitter we want to pray to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to persevere and to be encouraged you know the Lord gives us scriptures that's inspiration inspiring to encourage us to keep pushing all right endure all the way to the end and the same shall be saved as Yahweh Shai said okay so the word encourage in a quick Google search, it says give support, confidence, or hope to someone or hope to someone. So the Lord gives us support through the spirit. He gives us confidence and he gives us hope as an anchor. All right. To believe in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh you know, and as long as we hold on to it, you know, when things get rough, when more draconian laws are being passed and it's hard to move. When the hours of temptation come, Jacob's trouble come, which is will come, all right, we're going to have, let's say, Lord willing, I hope I'm a part of that, you know, that's why I say we, you know, Lord's willing, I'll be of the elect, you know, the elect is going to have that confidence, they're going to have that support, they're going to have that hope in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say the knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy times. You know, it's going to keep brothers stable. It's going to keep you sisters stable. You know, fulfilling Isaiah 4 and 1. You know, a man, uh, seven women shall cleave unto one man. You're going to be comforted by having the man of the Lord, a husband. Uh, what's that? Where it says a uh, man shall be a covert. Okay. And that man himself, because of the Lord, you know, coming through, you know, and uh, being that support physically. Because spiritual powers is going to come. So it says give support and advice to. Some, uh, it says give support and advice to someone. So that they will do or continue to do something. See. So Yahweh Shai. You know the angels. You know they want us to do what? To keep continuing to push in this truth. You know the scriptures say when one. Uh, wake up to the truth. The angels rejoice. You know, and I maybe lead that in the post-production as a precept. You know, they rejoice when one wake up. You know, one of the Lord's hopeful elect. Right? It says, help or stimulate an activity, state, or view to develop. Ooh, develop. See, we have to develop to that, that perfect potential. You know, and the only way we can develop into that if we persevere through the trouble. You know, the scriptures talk about the straight gate. You know, getting through that. Only one way through and the other side is going to be the kingdom. So we able to get through that through your spirit and power of your how by Shimei Shai to develop into that perfect form, which the Lord is going to, you know, he's going to twerk our bodies and change us. You know, as Paul said, being changed into a, you know, change in the twinkle of twinkle of an eye. All right. So encourage, you know, it's a few definitions there. It's pretty, pretty decent. 
okay pretty decent but i want to read a few precepts lord willing i hope these precepts are edifying this is isaiah chapter 41 and 10 fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thy power i will strengthen thee yea i will help thee yea i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness so the lord said fear thou not for i am with thee and right now you know being at the um the scamdemic you know is uh not so much of a pressure at, at the moment as it was a year ago but things are gonna get tightened again and this time it's gonna be even worse than what it was before all right especially when idumia okay which is greek for edom when they start pushing and forcing the mob mobb all right you know we're dealing with the j-a-b-b-a-b -B -B. you know you know y'all know what i'm saying you know but um but things are going to get more more worse man and things have to things have to in order for the kingdom so it says fear thou not for i am with thee be not dismayed for i am thou power i will strengthen thee how did the lord going to strengthen us first he comfort us through his word and then also you know through spiritual powers certain men is going to have the the, merit, the power to perform miracles you know things that a normal man can't do you know things we don't see on a normal basis certain men going to be able to do certain things okay through the spirit and power of yahweh bashem yahweh shai it says yea i will help thee yea i will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness all right so let's move on this is in Isaiah 43 and 1. It says, But now, thus saith Yahweh that created thee, O Jacob, and he that formed thee, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed thee. I have called thee by thy name, thou art mine. So Esau is in trouble because the Lord said, We're his. All right, you got Esau, he wants to put that all in you. He wants to make you his perpetual slave forever which we seems like it been forever already but he wants to further our our um slavery you know even more but now this is the time in prophecy where yahweh shah is going to return when prophecy is fulfilled and we end that 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 age where the prophecy is going to be fulfilled all right you can see it through the, the state of the world you can see it through the system that's being implemented around the whole world so it says but now thus saith yahweh that created thee because who created us yahweh okay yahweh by shim yahweh shai it says O jacob and he that formed thee O israel fear not for i have redeemed thee i have called thee by thy name thou art mine Call halal la Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. You know, the water Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai for being called uh, uh, of his. Because if we of Esau, then we're doomed, man. All right, if we're of any other nation, we're doomed. That means we'll be heathens. But really, we're princes. The men of the Lord, the, the uh, Israelite man, is a prince. You know, and we're called by his name, Yahshua Allah. Okay? So let's move on. This is uh, the book of Psalms. Okay, Psalms chapter 9 and verse 10. It says, And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Yahweh, has not forsaken them that seek thee. So because we have the name of the Lord, and we put our trust in the Lord for thou Yahweh has not forsaken them that seek thee so the Lord ain't gonna forsake us man he know everything what's going on he know everything that goes on in our minds every little bit that 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 comes against us that brings us to a low state he knows when we're happy he knows when we're sad all right the Lord ain't gonna forsake us man has not forsaken them that seek thee. So that's why it's important to seek the Lord. The scriptures say, uh, 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 the Lord is in all our thoughts, you know, every day. 
You know, this is not a a, 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 a phase or a fab, if they call it. You know, this is a lifestyle, you know, until we see the Lord. Okay? Uh, let me get one more. Let's get one more here. Or two more. This is in the book of Romans, chapter 8, and verse 32. It says, uh... He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So we're going to have everything, okay? So through Yahweh Shai, because whatever's Yahweh Shai is ours, all right? If we're joint heirs with the Lord and be of the elect, then guess what? Everything that's Yahweh Shai, he have given also to his friends, man, all right? Which is the elect, the first fruits. All right, the judges, the angels, okay? It says, he that spared not his own son, but deliver him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? So no matter what we're missing out right now, we're gonna have it, man. We're gonna have it and some, you know? Now I'm gonna go into details, but brothers know what they missing out on. You know, we're going to have everything at our expense, man. Everything that our heart wished for, we're going to have it. So verse 33, who shall lay anything to the charge of the Most High's elect? It is Yahweh that justifies. All right. Okay, let's go into, let's see if this, maybe this is my last one. First Peter's one and three. It says, blessed be Yahweh, the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah Mashiach which according to his abundant mercy have begotten us again unto a, a lively hope by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai Mashiach from the dead. So we have a lively hope, all right, by the resurrection of Yahweh Shai, all right, because Yahweh Shai was the word and the word was made flesh. And through his resurrection, okay, gives us this lively hope, which our hope is as an anchor going into encouragement all right, we have this hope that Esau can't take from us. And that's to the hopeful elect. He can't take our love away from us. As Paul said in Romans 8, you know, could tribulation, could distress, uh, 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 anguish, of spirit, principality, separate our love from the Lord? No. It says, blessed be Yahweh, the father of our Lord, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach, which according to his abundant mercy See the Lord has an abundant mercy man And we need it It says have begotten us again Unto a lively hope By the resurrection of Yahweh Shah Mashiach from the dead man Because we was in a dead state Being Gentiles So do Yahweh Shah we're, we're, we're alive man And we're going to be living soon when Yahweh Shah return And I'll get one more scripture One more the book of Philippians chapter 1 verse 6 it says being confident of this very thing that he which have begun a good work in you will perform it unto the day of Yahweh Shah HaMashiach you know so you know I hope this lesson was edifying all right this uh, topic is based off encouragement all right which encourage me Excuse me. Encourage means give support, confidence, or hope to someone. Give support and advice to someone so that they will do or continue to do something. Uh, help or stimulate an activity, state, or view to develop. So you want to develop, all right, into that perfect form in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And it starts with the knowledge and wisdom and understanding of the Lord. All right, until the Lord changes. And activate that new covenant, man. So I hope this lesson was edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rakakodash, double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well. Salutations to the Lord's elect. Shalom.